Good evening and welcome to the Channel Studios here in London with your international news around the world in five. Clashes have continued for a second day in Tunisia following the removal of the Prime Minister and suspension of Parliament. <laughs> Opposing sides engaged in scuffles around the Parliament building and threw stones at each other while police attempted to separate them. It's after the president, Kais Saeed, removed Prime Minister Hichem Mechichi, who has the backing of the largest party in parliament, Enada. Speaker and leader of Enada, Rached Ganucci, was last night barred from entering the building. Anger over a massive spike in COVID cases has added to general unrest over the nation's economic and social issues. Opponents of President Qais Saeed accuse him of staging a coup. The number of Afghan civilians killed or injured in escalating violence has risen to record levels in the first half of this year. That's according to the United Nations. A new report says Afghanistan has recorded more than 1,600 civilian deaths so far in 2021. That's a 47% rise compared to this time last year. Afghan government forces have been fighting Taliban insurgents who now control large parts of the country. We did not go to Afghanistan to nation build. It's after Joe Biden announced the withdrawal of U.S. forces from the country by September this year. The French Parliament has adopted a controversial new law introducing COVID passports for entry to bars, restaurants and for long-distance trains and flights. Pour l'adoption 195. The expanded law, which will take effect next month, means people will have to show proof of full vaccination or a recent negative COVID test. Over the weekend, more than 160,000 people demonstrated against it, including some violent clashes with police. A South Korean TV station has apologized for stereotyping countries in its Olympics opening ceremony coverage. NBC has since apologized for offending viewers after broadcasting a picture of pizza as the Italian team walked out, as well as Chernobyl for Ukraine and a photo of protests for the Haiti contingent. The channel said it wanted to make it easier for viewers to understand the entering countries quickly, but said it was an inexcusable mistake. A landmark fraud trial of 10 people, including a cardinal, will begin in the Vatican on Tuesday, with officials hoping it will show that no one is above the law. Cardinal Angelo Becciu, formerly a senior official in the Vatican, and nine others are accused of using charity funds in a London property venture. Pope Francis, who lifted Becciu's immunity so he could be indicted, fired him from his last Vatican post in 2020 for alleged nepotism and embezzlement. Becciu has always maintained his innocence. And finally, to a record-breaking medalist at the Olympics, the first person to ever win gold in the sport of street skateboarding. What's more, Japan's Momiji Nishia is just 13 years of age. Nishia topped a youthful podium with racer Lille of Brazil, also at the age of 13, taking the silver medal, and a Japanese 16-year-old winning bronze. With an average age of 14 years and 191 days, it is the youngest individual podium in the history of the Olympic Games. And that's your international news around the world in five. Now back to the Channel Studios in Lagos.